Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25201. We finally surpassed the 200 mark and now we're going in with new builds for the dev channel and hopefully with new and exciting features. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. Before talking about anything, please don't forget to subscribe and also leave a like down below this video. Video, as always because it helps me out a lot. So let's begin with this video. First of all, Microsoft is releasing ISOs for this build. So you can just go ahead and click on the article down below in the description and you're going to have links to the official Microsoft website where you can go down below and select the edition that you want to download. Click on confirm, select the product language, click on confirm, and then you will be able to download the ISO if you want to test it out, install it on virtual machines and so on. In this build, we have a new change regarding the widgets section. We have an expanded view for widgets. Basically using the expand button in widgets, we will be able to expand widgets to full screen and also expand freely along the screen, which is interesting. And also the size of the board is remembered. So if you prefer your widgets board to always show you more more content and leave it expanded then that's how it will be the next time you open it the sad news is that this is not rolling out to every windows insider this is only rolling out to a small number of windows insiders so if you don't have it don't worry you will get it along the way maybe in the next build or so i also don't have it so if i find out a way of manually enabling this i'm gonna make a different or separate video about that we also have some game pass widgets improvements microsoft is rolling out an update today that will introduce the ability to sign in with your xbox profile file directly from the widget and also additionally the widget will also show the most recent set of PC Game Pass titles you have played. It gives gamers a quick way to get right back into the action. Again, this feature is also not available for all Windows Insiders. Another sad news regarding this build, Microsoft is removing the different visual styles for the search box. I've done a video a few days ago in which I showed you how to enable the sixth variant. Well, Microsoft is removing all the variants so after you restart for the first time when you install this build those variants and those visual changes will be gone but Microsoft promises that they could come back in the future as a result of the feedback that they received when these things were enabled. Regarding the file explorer, file explorer search will now show results as you type. The full search results page will update live without needing to press enter. Microsoft is beginning to roll this out so the experience is yet again not available to all Windows insiders. This is actually something that it's really good that they are implementing because you always had to press the enter button in order to search for something well now you can search in real time and that could be faster also regarding the file explorer microsoft is experimenting with adding more cloud files to search results from home so basically this is all there is to it in this build regarding changes and improvements now let's talk about some fixes some general fixes for example microsoft fixed the issue in the last few flights causing a bug check when moving your mouse in certain games regarding the file explorer as a one-time change to help people find their folders with the navigation pane updates the default folders pinned to file explorers navigation pane have been unpinned they will be repinned after upgrading and they also fixed a memory leak which was happening when closing file explorer windows regarding the taskbar the apps in the taskbar overflow flyout should now be in the correct order when using an arabic or hebrew display language regarding input microsoft fixed an issue where if you hadn't already opened one note once using the pen click to invoke one note wouldn't work they also made a change to help address an issue where it wasn't possible to use the pine in ime to type in the chat box of certain games. Regarding the settings app, they fixed an issue which was causing sporadic settings app crashes and they also removed an erroneous white pixel in the icon animation when clicking the apps category in settings. Regarding widgets, Microsoft fixed the issue where in some cases the notification banner for some badging would not appear in the widgets board and also regarding windowing, Microsoft fixed an issue where explorer.exe was crashing if you dragged a snap group in task view and dropped it into another desktop. They fixed an issue related to interacting with the desktop flyout and the taskbar which was causing periodic explorer.exe crashes. They also fixed a DWM crash in the last few flights which could lead to a brief black screen when rotating a tablet and they also fixed a rare issue which could cause a DWM crash when watching videos in certain UWP apps in recent builds. We also have a fix regarding the task manager so they fixed an issue impacting task manager reliability. And other fixes for example Microsoft fixed an issue causing some insiders to unexpectedly get the message it is not possible to connect 
connect to this network when connecting to certain Wi-Fi networks. Recently, although the network was working with other devices, they also fixed an issue which could lead to Windows Sandbox opening to just a black window on certain PCs. So basically, this is all there is to it in this build, 25,201. You can check out the known issues and more info in the article below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.